Zach's Track 4D, cutting edge technology, giving you the most accurate forecast down to your street. Good Monday morning. Well, yeah, it's a Monday, but at least the weather's going to help you out. We've got great weather setting up this week. We're looking at dry conditions, low humidity, fairly sunny skies. But of course, all that is uh, not the best news for folks uh, battling the firefighters. The first responders are dealing with gusty winds, low humidity, and of course, no rain to help out with the fire over downtown. But as you can see here, uh, taking a look, there is not a lick of rain anywhere nearby. Temperatures are such that you need a sweater if you're gonna spend any time outdoors with these uh, 40s that are showing up here. This is something that is a little bit cooler than this time yesterday, and today we will be about 10 degrees chillier than on Sunday. We're gonna keep the sunshine intact and we'll keep these numbers in the upper 40s until about seven o'clock. And then once we get beyond that time frame will start warming us through the 50s this morning and shooting for an eventual high in the lower 60s. Clear for the most part, there's a few low clouds streaming on by. Those will mix out, giving way to mostly sunny skies here during the day. It's cool, but not cold. In fact, when you take a look upstream, you can see you have to go all the way up to basically Tennessee to find freezing temperatures. So it's mildly cool behind the front that has moved on by. They whipped up the winds overnight. And with that front comes the drier air and that will leave us rain free. We'll have another front coming through on Wednesday, just reinforcing the low humidity through the work week. And we are not expecting any rain until the earliest, which will be Sunday. And all the models do point at soggy conditions for Sunday and into Monday. So looking at temperatures, Warming into the low 60s this afternoon with mostly sunny skies to take you through the day. So hopefully that helps you out here on this Monday. It will be a little gusty at times. Winds will be around 15 to 20 miles per hour here through the early part of the day. As you can see, the forecast models drop us back down to under five miles per hour with calm winds setting up tonight and with warmer temperatures higher in the sky than what's down at the surface. We call that an inversion. That's a mechanism that will trap some smothering smoke smell around the South Bank late tonight. So for those of you that live around Empire Point through the South Bank, you might smell some of that smoke from the fire on the North Bank. Uh, by Sunday, rain chances will jump. We'll probably see nearly a 100% chance of rain as we get closer to the end of the week but it looks like forecast models all point at low pressure tracking across the state and that would be the rain in the earliest that we would see it for late Saturday night but more for Sunday. So sunny and breezy conditions here today. Temperatures rebound after a frosty start tomorrow morning into the mid 60s for Tuesday. We stay in the mid 60s through the remainder of the work week even with that front that comes through but tomorrow is going to be chilly. We'll see inland spots getting down into the mid 30s downtown areas, upper 30s, and beaches in the low to mid 40s. That's going to be the coolest of the week. Thursday morning, we can see temperatures close to this, if not a degree or two warmer than what we expect on Tuesday morning. Your work week, as I pointed out, looks dry. Saturday looks great to be outdoors with some upper 60s showing up Friday into Saturday. But by Sunday, we'll see the clouds come in with that rain, and some of that rain is going to stick around into Monday of next week. So make the most of the start of the work week. Weather definitely helping you out. Now, here is your Nimnik Automotive Time Saver Traffic. Here is a look outside at I-10 and Stockton Street. No crashes to report this morning. And, of course, there are some closures in the area 